Well, success means joy. Success means happiness. Success means peace. And success gave me money, okay? your girl Renee Nicole and I wanted to hop on here real quick and talk about self-doubt. So I am uh, reading a book right now by Kevin Hart. I believe it's called The, the Decision. I'm going to put the link below with the correct title. I believe it's The Decision. You know how you be reading a book and you just reading it and you don't necessarily know the title? I just know it's by Kevin Hart and I'm listening to the, the Audible actually and he is hilarious. I recommend that if you're going to read a book by someone like a Kevin Hart that you listen to the Audible because it just changes the, it elevates the experience <laughs> like completely. Um, but I wanted to hop on here because I uh, was listening to the book and man. He was getting to my soul. Do you hear me? In terms of self-doubt, um, if you, you know, if you watch him talk, if you listen to him in interviews, you can tell he has a lot of self-confidence. And you can easily say that that's, you know, fake or that it's, you know, that it's not real. Um, but just hearing him speak, he he was like, I don't even self-doubt. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't even want to say that. I don't want to associate with that. And I feel like me and you, for me and you, that's a word. Like we have to think in that way. I don't even associate with self-doubt. For me, myself personally, I think that I, um, I grew up learning to be humble. I grew up in a Christian household, a very Christian household. My mom was very saved, okay? Like church three times, four times, five times a week saved, okay? Um, and so we grew up learning to be meek and mild. We grew up learning to be humble. And I think sometimes that humility um, is associated with not thinking too highly of oneself. And I grew up not thinking too highly of myself because I thought that anything else was being, um, being, you know, arrogant or thinking that I'm this or that, you know, and I'm learning now today. This is February 24, 5th, 2021. And I'm learning that it's okay to believe in yourself. That's not a sign of arrogance. It's a sign of confidence. And in order to be successful, you have to be confident. And so I'm encouraging you today to be confident, to find your inner self-confidence. I wrote down some things that I'm good at. I wrote down some of the things that I like about myself. I wrote down even some of the things that I've accomplished. And that just helped me see that where I'm at, where I'm at currently is where I'm supposed to be. I think that we can easily, um, you know, even the most successful people, even a Kevin Hart can feel like, man, I could have done this. I could have done that. I could have accomplished so much more. We can compare ourselves to others. We get on social media and we see these beautiful people who are doing great things and we can start to think less about ourselves. But baby girl, baby boy, you are right where you are supposed to be. You've done amazing things here on earth and in the kingdom. So I just want you like I'm encouraging me to believe in yourself, man. Um, I'm here right now on a, I feel like it's a work vacation. My my um, prayer partner invited me to Orlando because she has a friend that has a vacation home here. We're staying in her vacation home in just today. You know, I was feeling, I didn't sleep very well, so I was really tired. And, you know, she's working during the day. And right now I'm just working on starting my business. And I was feeling a little down and out, like feeling like I'm not doing enough, you know, feeling like I'm not, you know, taking the right steps to success. And, you know, I got so tired. I laid out on the patio and I was it was cold in here. The AC was blasting. So I sat on the patio and I laid down and I took a little nap and she came out and was like, what you doing? Let's go for a walk. And we just spoke life into each other. And the revelation I received was just that, like, 
you know, talk to God seriously, like tell him what's up, you know, and I've been doing that. I've been like really talking to him like a friend and realizing that where I'm at is where I'm supposed to be and not trying to make my relationship with God anything different than what it is. Um, and yeah, I just had to hop on here and share that. And I hope that that encourages you to do the same, like be honest with God, tell him where you're at, tell him your insecurities and ask him for help in addressing those insecurities and correcting them, like really in, in believing yourself and trusting yourself with the gifts and the tools and the resources that he's given you to be successful. Success means joy. Success means happiness. Success means peace. And success gave me money, okay? I feel like money... Um, in addition to you fulfilling your purpose, can bring that joy, knowing that you can help others, knowing that you can get the things that you need, the things that you want even. Um, I believe that's all a part of success, man. I've been reading so many, um, there's so many stories about Jay-Z, you know, and him being a billionaire and, you know, his new deal with his, um, his, his liquor line, his champagne, he has like champagne and he's, he's merged with Louis Vuitton, Tennessee, Moet and it's just like man like these are things that he probably never even could have dreamed of growing up in Marcy projects I think that's where he's from and in New York and he didn't have a blueprint we keep talking about that me and my my sissy here um you know it's not about how you grew up we can't use that as that as an excuse anymore uh he didn't have the blueprint but look at where he is today, okay? Married to one of the baddest in the game, okay? And and even by himself, a success, a mogul in himself. So we have to truly look outside of the box, look outside of our upbringing and trust the gifts and the tools he's given us and want it. It's all about the desire. I think the Kevin Hart's, the Jay-Z's and all the people that you see thriving, wanted it they they yearned for it and they worked for it you know and they honed in on a skill and let that multiply so let's multiply let's get to where the money resides okay <laughs> 2021 is not here for us to be playing games it's time to get to work it's time to 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 be confident so that we can establish ourselves and gain the success that we are hoping for, that we are dreaming for, that we are writing down and envisioning. It's time, y'all. So thank you guys for, for hopping in and listening to my little rant. I hope that it encouraged you. Um, and I love y'all. Share in the comments what you're doing, what you're working on, what steps you're taking to just elevate. Love y'all again. It's your girl Renee Nicole. Thank you for tuning in to A Day with Renee. Comment below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to share. Okay. Tell a friend or two. I'm trying to get these these subscriptions up. So be sure um to follow me and uh yeah, let's do this together. I love y'all. Peace.